today guys we are unboxing the RBX10 Reef 110 scale electronic four wheel drive RTR. This right here is your radio, four AAA batteries, comes with four batteries, that's your four batteries and we got four screws with this orange pieces of plastic here and there goes your manual and here is the reef. Today guys, we're gonna make this rock bouncer crawler. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the fusion in there just to make it a cool crawler, you know? And we have some different gears here. We have low gears. This is your part number, and this would give us a two-speed transmission. So now we're gonna go ahead and scrub down the whole vehicle. We're gonna remove the shocks, take off the screws here. Got a couple of screws at the bottom. Got two screws right here, and that would be able to drop down the whole system. Go ahead and remove the shocks. Okay, the shocks is off. So this is a cage, pretty simple to remove, cage is out. So we're going very simple, we're putting a fusion inside of it, a 40 amp 1800 kV fusion. So we're going to put that inside it to make it a real smooth crawl, you know. So we're going to remove the whole spectrum system, we're going to flip it over. There's some screws at the back here that we got to remove. We can remove the whole system. We'll have to open up the receiver to disconnect the servo. Got four screws holding on this receiver cover. Okay guys, so remove the receiver cover and we're gonna remove the receiver from in there. Pull off these two wires. Slide this off like so. So the wire and the ESC wire. So we're gonna put this piece back here. This is a seal so no water get into the box. And we're gonna pop this receiver out. Double-sided tape holding it down, receiver is out. Now we got the gear box out with the motor and the ESC. So now we're gonna scrap this down. We're gonna remove the ESC and the motor from the gear box. So we have two screws holding on this piece of plate here. We're gonna remove that. It's pretty easy to take apart and the ESC is out and we have this piece of plate is basically loose so this is that and then we have one screw holding on the power button right here this is off we're going to remove this cover on the gearbox here so we can get three screws so we can get to the motor this is the spur gear pinion gear right here pretty simple so now we got to remove these two screws right here and plus remove the pinion so the motor can be removed we're using a 1.5 to remove the pinion gear all right so your pinion gear is off it's a 17 tooth pinion and we can drop it down to a 14 i guess so now we got two more screws to remove here for the motor to come off and to remove these screws we're using a 2.5 to remove these big screws to take off the motor all right there we go there goes the motor so the motor and the ESC is off system is off now so put this aside and we got to get down in the gearbox so we could put these gears in there so we're going to remove the gear, just going to hold this right there and turn this, it's pretty easy to come off. So now we're going to get down inside of the gearbox. 
I'm going to remove these screws right here. We do some time lapse and remove those screws. All right, guys, so getting ready to open up this gear box. I'm going to remove this piece of plate here first with this bearing. There we go. It's pretty simple. Really packed with grease in there. So now we're going to make the changes. We have to remove something here and we're going to put this one in here. So this would give us a two speed low and high and also cut down the speed and give us a crawling mode. So we're going to put in those gears. There goes your part number if you want to get the crawling gears. There goes your manual to give you all the directions that you need to set this up. And this is your bearings. And this is for your servo when you're doing a two speed to put in the extra servo. And this is all the gears that we need here to do the two speed transmission and the low gear. So now we're gonna get down inside this. All right, so we got all the pieces. Now we just have to make the conversion. Guys, let me show you how this gear is going together. Take this one, put it in here like so, and take that one, put it in here like so. This is what's going to make the shift from your high to your low gear. And this one, this piece right here, is going in there like so. It's got this little screw part right here, so you got a screw inside. So it's going to screw down like that and we get this pin in this package right here take that off and this pin gonna come right here like that and this gonna go inside like so so this can move the gears back and forth this is what gonna give you high and low gear all right so now now that we know how this is going, in here, gonna remove this, and we gotta remove. There's a clip, a little clip right there. We're gonna remove that clip, remove that part, and there is also this bearing to remove here, and remove that clip. So let's get this clip off. I'm just gonna take a knife right out, like so. The little clip is off. Gonna put this here, and now this also pop out. It's a little bit tight. There you go. It's off. So this one is not going back inside. This, we don't need that no more. So guys, we already removed one of the little clips here. We're going to remove this one again. There we go. So this is how this go. There's three bearings that you get in the package here. We're going to get the bearing off. So then you're going to put a bearing down in here. Like that. So when you put this one in here, so then it could run smoothly. Okay, and then this one going to go here, and now we're going to put another bearing right here. And then this one goes like that. Guys, let me break this down to show you guys how to get this done properly, and I'm going to explain what I did here. Now, right here, there is a bearing here. There is one there, there is another one here, and there is one here. So in all, we have four bearings, right? Four bearings is going here. Now, on the manual, I know it's kind of tricky to understand, but let me break it down for you. Maybe this would help. 
with the full bearings. One, two, three, four. And just keep your eyes right here as I show you. That's exactly how it is here. So let me see if I can point this up clearly for you here. Now, as you see right here, there is a bearing here. And at the back here, there's a bearing here. And right here, which is between this one, there's a bearing right there. And on top here, there's another bearing. So I'm gonna take this off again to show you, because I want you to understand it. If you ever go to do this, you know, clip, and there's a bearing, and there's one here, see? So slide this off. I'm breaking it down to show you guys so you have a great understanding of what's going on. And I'm gonna take this clip off again. And here, there is a bearing on the top. There is one. So, one bearing, then this. There is a bearing right here. You can just pop it out so you can see. See, there's a bearing there. Like that. And now, we're gonna push this piece inside. So now, take a bearing. There we go. Push this like that. And then, we'll put this other bearing on the top here. So this can move back and forth to change the, the gears to high and low. All right, so now we gotta put back the little clips. Slide one of the clips in. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put the clip on the other side. There you go. So I hope you guys understand how it works. Just like this. So this is finished. So this is the same process right here. Let's move on to put all the pieces together. Now this, this case is very simple. Just like so. The small one at the bottom, big one on top. And this guy here now, right, check this out. This piece, screw this in there like so, just like that. And you're gonna push this right here. And now we're gonna put this in together. So this is going right here in this hole. And then we're gonna slide everything down. There you go. And we got one more piece, which is this piece of metal right here. We'll go over and go down in this hole right there. Okay, so that's it. Everything is in place now. See? And the bearings, make sure the bearings are there. All right, the gearbox is together. And inside here, you gotta make sure that you have a bearing in there, okay? Make sure that the bearing is here. And then that will come over here like so, and everything is in place. And then we're gonna put the screws. We got this long screws that we gotta push from this side. This small one will come over here. And now all we gotta do is tighten it. Pretty simple. We're gonna do some time lapse and get it over with. All right, so here, this is what's gonna move the gears back and forth. All right, so it's working. So now I want to show you something. This piece of plastic right here comes out back here. 
and this is to cover the piece of shaft when you're just using one gear if you don't need to put the the two gear high gear and low gear that was covering right here i unscrewed okay guys it's time to put back the spur gear slide it in like so So now we're going to move on to put on this piece right here, which is a piece of the dry shaft. We just have to line it up with the hole. It's pretty simple. As long as the hole is lined up, we just drop the pin inside there, just like so. And now we just tighten. All right, so the gearbox is back together. We have to put the servo here for the two speed. So we're putting in this fusion inside it. So I'm not really doing it for speed, I want it to crawl. So the fusion will just be fine. All right, let's get inside this fusion and put this up on the gearbox. We'll get some hobby wing stickers, a manual, program card, two zip tie. You get some extension cards right here for the program card. We get two pieces of it. And of course, the fusion. All right, so now we get some double-sided tape too. So this is pretty simple to go up on the gearbox. So let me show you how it goes. Pretty easy to do. All right, guys, so this pinion gear wouldn't be able to work this 17 tooth pinion because the shaft is much wider than the shaft on the fusion so what i did i put a 14 tooth pinion here and i moved the screws from the second one to number four and on this side here one two three to number three it's touching really good 14 tooth pinion gear and that seems to work Perfect. All right, so now I'll have to hook up the servo. We got this micro servo here, and we're gonna hook this up. Okay, guys, I'm gonna hook up a battery and show you how this thing function. I'm using the Fly Sky GT5. We're gonna put the servo right here on the radio. Can we get power? Okay, let's see if we can get the silver to shift. But that's low gear. And I'm really interested in the low gear. Okay, so it's working guys. All right guys, time to put back on this poor gear cover and the pinion cover. So we're gonna lock this down. And this screw here was actually for the power button. So we don't have that, you know, kind of screw hole anymore. So we have to find somewhere else to put the power button. So we're just gonna leave that screw right there. Okay, and we actually get the cover for the um, receiver. We're gonna run the wires through this piece of plastic so no water can get inside. We actually have to do the servo. The servo wire have to actually go in here. And it will slide in and then put this down like so. So let me get the chassis and put it up here. So now I can turn this over and put in the screws. Go do some time lapse. And
people can do.